All right, well, welcome back. Sorry I couldn't get it all in one video. I'm actually gonna do numerous videos anyways, so it didn't really matter too much because I'm gonna do a video on like builds and videos, how to get into everything and how to get started. That was just a PVP one. This one I'm actually gonna skip over the PVE version because I feel like if you are getting into it, you're gonna get into it and the PVP or PVE will be just kind of self-explanatory, I hope. If not, leave it in the comment section what you'd like to see on the PvE version. Because, like, they've got strikes where you can just wander around the planets, do whatever you want. Just all kinds of stuff like that. Um, so this one I'm going to more base off of uh, the different guardians and weapons. So now that I got this screen open, which it came up at a perfect time, we're going to go like this. Okay, so we got Hunter, which I can do this with. Hunter which is a really good one. That's the one I use. And yes, I'm gonna say right now, all my characters are females. You get to customize the face and stuff on them when you start. So I got my Hunter, I got my Titan. And like I said, Titans are really good and Hunters are really good. I have not really used my Warlock. I mean, I still have my Warlock at a high power level just because I learned at an early time how to do that. If you have the battle pass, every season you can claim stuff and you can move your weapons over to help yourself level up each character as long as you have one level really high it's easy to level them all up that high which i can get into if you have any questions on how to do that because literally i might have a total of two hours on my um warlock and you can see it's right up there with the other power levels it's 1061 and I probably would, I could probably have it higher than that. I just don't have uh, as much high gun level on it. And my Titan's 63 and my Hunter's 64, so it's like they're all right there. But I'm not gonna diss the Warlocks. Warlocks are rarely dominant. You just gotta know how to play with them. So my suggestion to get into the game would be starting with the Hunter or the Titan. They're a little bit easier to learn the movements and stuff on them. The Warlocks a little bit harder, but Warlocks do dominate in a lot of different the PvP versions, and I'm sure they're really good on PvE too. But we're not gonna get into too much of that. The Warlock has the same abilities, but their their supers are different, just like the Titan supers are different. So one thing to base on is the Hunters. They do normal jumps, like they can either jump three up, like you jump one and then two extra ones, or you can do like jump and then jump off to the side and stuff like that um so they're mainly just like a you know you can jump the titan you jump and then you hit the jump button again and you'll actually like kind of float a little bit you know what i mean like almost fly a little bit and the warlock it's weird because if you click them too real quick it'll fly like actually fly for a long distance but if you don't do it right away, it kind of drops you back down. So it's kind of hard to get used to a little bit. And I don't know if all the jumps like that for the Warlock are like that, but it's just different. And then their like super abilities are different. Their melee abilities are different. Like the Hunter, one of them, he throws a knife. Another one, he throws like a he can throw a, a grenade down at the floor and actually make him or his whole team invisible. Um, there's just all different abilities on them. I'm not gonna go into details. If you have questions about it, leave it in the comment section down below. And I can base a video on just each class if you want. But this is just an intro. So when you start, so let's just uh, get started. We're gonna, uh, let's do the Hunter first. Since that's my main one is the Hunter. So we'll start with the Hunter, work our way through. And just, kind of get it through I want to try to go as quickly as possible because last time I ran out of time super quick so we're gonna get into this really quickly here and my arrangements not like it normally is I got yeah I see I got a lot of different guns put in these spots so this is normally okay you'll want to keep blues when you're moving up I just delete them because I'm already got guns that I don't need blue ones okay so like I went over yesterday, I think, or my video, you can't put two, um, I'm going to call them gold or exotic items, 
So if I got an exotic item here, I can't put one in either of these two spots. Same thing here, if I have it in here, I can't put it over here. So for armor, you can only have one in one, one in each spot. So like if I move um, this here, then I could put these arms on if I wanted. Okay. And I put that, then I can put one of these chest pieces on. Or I got stompies, which for hunters are really good. Like your mobility's hot better for with stompies. So like when you jump, I use the triple jumps. So I jump and then I got two more jumps. I can go like almost twice as far as I normally can with this one. But I'm trying to get away from them because they're the there's called crutch items in it, and that's a crutch item. People will use that, only use that because it's easier to use it for, you know, me jump and stuff. But see, what people don't realize is like this helmet, it'll track people behind walls. Like if you're watching that PVP yesterday, or my PVP video from the other day, or whatever, whenever you watch this, um, it would show a red X where they were running around for a little bit. So that's why I use that a lot in PVP. Okay, and then I use this one when I'm going into like raids or strike training because it'll kill the bosses or big guys in like one shot with, um, uh, if I go here and I go into here, I can go and use this golden gun. That's what this is. It's my super. It'll shoot once, but it does like ridiculous damage. It'll like take a boss down to like nothing or half its health depending on how badass the bosses excuse my language but so I kind of switch around between those depending on what I'm doing if that makes sense and the other thing is you want to look at um, okay we'll just uh, we'll just click on it is all like armor you want to look at this total stat number okay so that 50 is a really low stat and so I'm trying to find uh, another one of these helmets with a better stat number because that, that shows you your mobility and all this, and you want the, the higher stat number, okay? And I mean, you can buy this stuff to hire the stats, but I'm at eight, and I have all this stuff put on here, and I'm still only at 50. So that's really bad, because like, like, look at this. I have this master work, and it's at 85 total stats, which ain't bad, it's not great. I've seen over 90 when they're fully maxed out, but, 85 ain't bad like this one is 72 when I'm at 6 you know that one's gonna go really good you know what I mean it'll be in the 80s probably when I if I master work it ever you know what I mean okay so that's pretty much the armor and like here we'll go real quick yo let's do this one so real quick over armor and the armor is gonna be kind of the same between Guardians like the hunter the Titan the warlock. There's gonna be different, you know, what I mean armor for them But they're gonna have the same thought pattern. You know, what I mean you're gonna want the same mobilities and stuff like that so these are um, Things you add on and so you have to buy a, I mean some of them come with more Energy, but you can get these to put these on and look there's all different kinds like see I can put this on and it'll help me with swords grenades you know this will help this you know what I mean and you can go different ways with it see so like I could switch this over to this and this will help my all my rifle classes instead of you know void grenades you know and then this is rifle classes also so it'd be like doubling that same thing up and then I can come over here see I even have a space I can put the, I don't know why I haven't added this like what how many spaces do I, oh, I say I have three spaces empty so I can come over here and add this or I could add this, which I'll put this on right now. For right now, for right now. And see, I could do this where it'll, you know, multi, the ammo can be carried. And then this will help me find it. You know what I mean? Like there's just different uh, perks is what these are called that you can do. You can change along the lines and all, each one of these different ones can change everything. So like right now my mobility is at 68, which ain't bad. I like it a little higher, but that's not bad. This is my main thing. I wanted it at least 70. It's my recovery, you know? So that's my main thing is getting that recovery up high. 
All right, off the armor, let's go over here. I'm using the Wither Witherhorn, I use that like PVE, PVP. I use it quite often when I can. I mean, sometimes I need to run a sniper rifle, so then I won't use that, like if it's a bigger map for PVP and it's more wide open, I'll use a sniper rifle. So Witherhorn's a grenade launcher that kind of leaves like a melting thing on the ground. If you haven't played the game, it's pretty overpowered. If you can get it, it's in the season pass this year. For this season, this year. And then I'm using the Gnawing Hunger, which I masterworked because it has really good perks. It automatically reloads if you get a kill to a point it won't reload all the way, it'll reload so many bullets. And then it has a Rampage on it, which is another perk, which causes it every time you get a kill, it does more damage. So when it's reloading itself and you're getting kills, you can like take out a whole team without even having to reload. And then you're doing like three times the damage on the next person and onward and onward. So it's just a slaughterhouse and like I was talking about it the other day during the PvP match it just melts people and then I use the swords a lot I use this sword this was the Caesar pass sword I'm using it a lot right now I just got this garden or this uh, shotgun which I haven't got to use it's kind of weird shotgun thing in the heavy slot and then I you know I just got this rocket launcher yesterday also I got this out of I think it was uh, the dungeon and yeah, I mean, you just want to carry stuff like these two will probably go in the vault. They have a vault where you can store stuff because like you only have nine slots plus this slot and like this is all full. Like it's just, yeah, it's a mess right now. And then so like say if I wanted to switch over to uh, a sniper rifle, I'd probably go over to this and this. And that would be my loadout most likely. Or I'd go with this sniper rifle. But right now I've been using this one a lot both these two are good the serials ravine is a really good assault rifle it, it's just it, it's kind of like a, if you ever played apex it's kind of like the havoc it has it takes time to I mean it'll go it'll start shooting right away not like waiting to wind up but it shoots faster the longer you hold the bolt the hold the trigger down so that's pretty much it and same idea okay so same thing, um, if I want, I would use this, and then I would come over here and use this as a shotgun if I wanted to go shotguns. This is like an OP shotgun, overpowered shotgun. I haven't quite got it down, but that's an overpowered shotgun, okay? And so I'd go with this loadout sometimes in PvP, depending on if I wanted to use a shotgun or a grenade launcher, okay? Um, say you could always go with this this, this shotgun is a little bit easier to get and it's still a really good shotgun okay and so you go with this loadout but make sure if you get a nine hunger it has good perks on it because some nine hungers aren't the best you know what i mean and just like grenade launchers you want to make sure they have good stat rolls and all that stuff and master work okay so like that's the other thing i want to go over real quick so right here is the masterwork so this is range so i masterwork the range so now i have i mean you can see right here is where the range is from the masterwork so this thing can shoot map you know it'll map a person if i wanted to you know what i mean and see i have 830 kills out and about I have 86 kills in the crucible and that's only counting it when I actually have it have this attached over here so I probably have a lot more than that I should probably just leave it on the crucible and see I can change the mag around but I'd rather knowing it reloads itself I'd rather have it have more ballots than reload speed you know what I mean so and like that's the thing is like all guns have different masterworks like Let's go, what do I have? Okay, see here, this I got masterworked already. It's a grenade launcher. So yeah, this one, see, they all have, and I could even go, I don't have another assault rifle out here, so it's different, but here we'll go to sniper. Let's see what it has, probably, okay, stability. So it would have a stability masterwork. But you're understanding what I'm saying, like, you just gotta pay attention to what you're doing before you do it, because you don't want to masterwork something that's not worth masterworking. If that makes sense, okay? 
So now we've gone over the hunter and all how to do stuff, move stuff around, delete stuff. So that's pretty much all I got on the hunter. And then you can go down if you're on, I don't know, on Xbox you just press down. You got your sparrows, which you ride around on the planets. There's all different kinds. You can get a whole bunch of them. I would suggest trying to find one that's speed of 160 because that's the fastest you can get. And then your planes. You know, and you got your emotes, which I got a whole bunch of different emotes. And the finishers, and then your banners that you get for doing stuff. I mean, that's pretty much it. Oh, and then here, real quick, just because I'm doing like an intro to this game. You're going to have items. Like, these are stuff I need to cash in. But uh, all this stuff does stuff. Like the stuff you collect on each planet, you can buy stuff with. Use it to buy stuff constantly, so you want to collect as much of you. I know 800 seems like a lot, but you can go through it pretty quickly. Like, see, I have over a thousand. Um, these are like uh, upgrades. So, like, if you want to, like, you can take, say, you have a really good weapon, but it's low power level. You can take a shitty weapon that has a high power level and put them together a certain way, and then it'll make the really good weapon up to that power level but you have to use these and these are kind of expensive so definitely save those once you get them and then these are upgrades to make um, guns and armor better yeah I mean you just collect all this stuff so you can have it to do stuff with like this if you run out of glimmer you can use this in four hours it'll just drop glimmer like crazy and glimmer is how you buy everything I'm still low on glimmer these are all intros from when you drop in from your ship these are all shaders you can paint your character however you want like see this is what I have my character as right now this is what I'm thinking about making my hunter painted like if it load see so you can shade your character customize them how you want and there's so much armor okay so on that note, we will come over here, change characters, maybe, yep, confirm, and I'll go show you my Titan real quick. And then we'll call this video it for right now, and we'll show you PvE later, if that's okay with everybody. Just leave it in the comments section. I'm just trying to get everybody caught up, because... You need to play, if you haven't played this game and you want to try it, and I suggest trying it if you like any type of shooter games, because this is a really good one. It's been around for four years and it's not going nowhere and it's getting better. Like they just dropped a whole bunch of stuff on the next few seasons. Like they're set up for the next three years. This game ain't going nowhere. They're not going to be bringing out a Destiny 3 anytime soon. Okay, so, so like I was saying, uh, total level. See, this is a pair of boots that I got. Oh, you can't see it. Okay, I'm going to click on it. And I haven't been looking to see if you can see any of them. Damn, I'm sorry if you guys have been missing stuff here. Let me make... Uh, let me do this. Give me a second. Okay, so we're going to do that. I wanted it a little bit bigger so you could see me. Okay, so this one has a total stat of 81. I'm only at 6. Okay, so let's take, take this off. And let's take this off. And it takes it down to 66. So that's not, I mean, it's, it's good, but it's not great. You know what I mean? So realistically, like, it could be a lot better. You know what I mean? But I get all my mobility from this one. You know? But... We'll put these back on. And then the other thing I, I forgot to show you on my hunter, so I'll show you real quick on this one. If you go down, you can do like this. You can buy ornaments, okay? So seasonal ornaments are in here, and then you could buy ornaments, and then you got shaders. So I don't know. I don't know what I've been using. Is it this one? I think it's this one. I don't know what I was using. This one? This one? I don't know. I need that one. I don't know what I've been using on him. Yeah, I don't know what color combination I was using on him. I'm gonna say it was this one. 
pur și simplu iuză, iuză sunt. Îți putea una. Nu văd să duc la acest privilegiu. Okay, so there's ornaments on uh, there's ornaments on your uh, armor that you can do. So different ornaments over here, and then like I said, you can only have one. So you could use this. Let's see, I just dropped my power level, but you know what I'm saying. Ooh, this is, okay, that's low. Get rid of that. Wait, no, we don't want to get rid of that. See, this one I don't have all of my. Up to 1050, see this is 1049 and this is 1050, so we gotta keep that. Okay. Okay, so we can get rid of that. But yeah, so this is the Titan. I don't really have a gun loadout. If I this is a really good wrist grinder. If you get a chance to get it, it's gonna probably disappear soon. It's an SMG. It shreds in PvE. Shreds. It'll turn into like a straight up lightning bolt laser beam craziness ridiculousness is it's just crazy but yeah I just store weapons over here realistically like I don't know like when I do play on my Titan I normally switch my weapons from my hunter over here so the weapons over here just don't really matter They're, it just shows you that there's a whole bunch of weapons you know what I mean like it just don't stop and then like hold on because you haven't seen this one um See, so like, remember how I was showing you inside they had the had the uh, golden gun? Well, see this one, you can throw axes on the first tree. This one has a hammer. This one's back to the axes, but has different abilities with the axes. And then the jumps. Okay, you have three different jumps. You got a shields, different kind of shields. Because like, instead of like, with the hunter, when you tap B, He'll dodge. He'll, he'll dive and dodge. I forgot to tell you that. He'll dodge so you can like dodge out of the way. This one, if you tap B or hold B, it'll put up a shield and the shield will stay there and it'll protect you so you can reload and your life will regenerate. And you got different grenades and like that's just one. There's three of them and they all have different abilities. Like this one, see this one is just fist. It's kind of like a like the Hulk. Like the other one like with the hammer was like Thor, this one's like the Hulk. And then, you know, you got the hammer or the fist where he just comes flying and punches everything, you know. And so there's all different trees, just like, and then the same thing with the shields and grenades. And then, so yes, the Titan's kind of like, <laughs> and, and I've thought about this for a while, because you have Thor here, you got the Hulk here, and then this one, I have not played it, but I've seen people play it. It's almost like Captain America. See, he has a shield, shield, shield. And I couldn't tell you what they do exactly. I know I've seen him throwing the shields. I've seen him, I, yeah, it's just, the Titan's more of like a, yeah, I mean, Avenger. All, you know, you got three Avengers right here at your fingertips. So, and then this is your ghost. You always want to make sure that he has guiding light on him or you're going to screw yourself, which I know this one don't have guiding light, which is okay, because my main character does. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Then, yeah, like, these exotics for, like, uh, the armor is based, like, I couldn't move this to the hunter or the um, warlock. None of the, these gold exotics that are over here can go to another ledge, or another, uh, Guardian, so they're here for the Titan. So the Warlock would be the same way. And then we all we share this stuff, so this will all be the same between each Guardian. If you do start working with all three, and just real quick while I have a chance, I will show you the Warlock. Just in case you do want to try starting with the Warlock, if you are really good at like learning new games, learning movement, and then I mean maybe like I took me a minute to figure out the Hunter, so maybe. If you start with the Warlock, you'll know how to use the Warlock correctly and be dominant. And the one super that the Warlock has is, uh, I can never think of his name. He's on Star Wars where he shoots lightning out of his hands. One of his supers does that. And to me, that's just craziness, you know what I mean? Just straight craziness. 
I don't know which one it is because like I've never really experienced it. I've always just used this one and he has a sword and he flings light and stuff, you know? And like I said, don't worry about the guns. See, I have this gun over here, but don't worry about the guns. They're all just, you know, and this is all just the same. But yeah, this is the Warlock. Sickness, okay. Um, so we'll go in here first. Like I said, this one just yeah, you have a sword and it shoots flames. I don't know what this one does. Like I said, I haven't played with it, so I can't really tell you. This one, I'm guessing, is roughly the same thing. And then see, you have different jumps. See, maybe I should try this jump because I don't know. The warlock's just hard. And then he, like, you know how, like, the titan can put it on a shield, the hunter dodges. This one puts down rifts, okay? So you got, like, a healing rift, and then you got a empowering rift. So that gives you, like, if you're in that rift, and you're shooting someone, you're doing more damage. So that's kind of cool. And then you got different kinds of grenades, you know, the same thing. So, it's kind of like, you're going to figure out what you like and what you don't like, okay? So these are all different supers, too, and you can read through them figure them all out you know um, and I know this one if it loads up for me this one has the one where he shoots the lightning out of his hands I don't know if it's this one it looks like it's this one. Oh nope I bet you it's that one you can see it in that picture and so the warlock is pretty powerful in my eyes like he has the rifts which are really good you know I just don't know how to use them that well but I'm sure he's a dominant force. Um, yeah, and then you can do triumphs, which this just has you like click on stuff when you get done with stuff. And my level for my triumphs is 16,000, which ain't nothing. You can come over here, which is kind of cool. After you get something, like come over here, um, we'll do paints, which are shaders. And say we like a. Uh, second yeah okay so this one was one of them that I just got so you can get more of it by buying it with you know glimmer and legendary shards and legendary shards are not terribly hard to get but they're kind of hard to get but you buy a lot of stuff with them so you want to collect that as much as you can I have two four or 142 of it but just yesterday before Zer came, I had over 300. But I spent a lot on it with Zer. So, because with Zer, I got this gun. I got this helmet. And I didn't get it at that power level. I got them way higher. This helmet. And I got this gun. All four of those were from Zer. So, that's pretty good. But, um,. Yeah, that's pretty much all I got um, here. I mean, I don't have very many quests with the... I should have showed you my quest log with my uh, uh, hunter. Because I don't really have really many quests. But you come over here to quests. And these, it'll show you, see quests. You have all these different quests for different guns. Different stuff. Um, okay, so I don't have nothing. So see, this is a quest that you share. Like, there's some quests you'll share between all three guardians and this is one of them it's a seasonal one and you got means to an end which you sh don't share either but i've been doing them for all of them and then you got these these get you exotic items like this one I, I it doesn't get shared but i'm almost done with it with my hunter see this one so see okay see so you got your quest and you got your map of where you're at if you're on a planet and then this just shows you all the different planets I showed you all this yesterday I know my head's in the way of most of these planets and then right here shows you like your roster and if you're in a clan it'll show you who's all on with your clan 
like who's all online and stuff, and then who's in your lobby. And then this is the season pass. So the season pass is pretty good. So right off the bat, you get a box that has full set of armor. So that's kind of cool. And then you kind of get through and you get, remember I told you those upgrade your stuff. You get another more armor. You get Ingrams, which give you stuff. More of these that help you upgrade. More armor. You get a finisher. You know, more, you get armor, armor, more stuff. You get bright dust, which helps you buy stuff. Armor, the sword. Here's the... Um, Witherhorn. I don't know if that's worth buying. Whatever. But, uh, yeah, and then see, here's the pulse rifle for the season, which I'm not too keen on, but everybody else says it's really good. And then you got these Ingrams. And it just gives you everything you need to help you upgrade stuff. Like, look, automatically you get two exotic items. Not automatically, but you gotta work for them. But you know what I mean, like. And then, so. Okay, so see, I'm not even done with it yet, but this is pretty much it. You know, you get a, um, a skin for the Witherhorn at the end of it on s tier 100. Get a helmet, skin, get another exotic. So, I mean, yeah, that's pretty much it for that. I don't know what else to show you. You can uh, come in here and choose if your helmet's on all the time, always on, off, and there. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys learned something. If not, I'm sorry. I just try to be helpful for new people. Uh, I'd like this uh, game to grow and get better and I'm willing to help it I'm on Xbox one like I said last time if anybody's starting or has started or just has been playing it and needs people to play you can add me my uh, gamer tag is LB John snow well I hope you liked it if so give me a big thumbs up if not I'm sorry if you liked it a lot hit that subscribe button I'll be trying to post at least once a week if not more thank you